well hello world i wish you a warm welcome to the code gaming channel and i wish you a warm welcome to this new video and today we have a very exciting news something new and something interesting to show you and i would like to introduce you the world's first truck simulator wheel and that will be from moza racing this thing is amazing they call it the tsw steering wheel and this will be a game changer in virtual trucking and i want to welcome you to the future of truck simulation so this is the thing this is the world first we have the honor to present you this and to do unboxing and review of this steering wheel so let's start to do that and i hope you're you're enjoying this video because this is something really 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 interesting let me just flip it this one on the other side nice packaging from moza like always they do great job with that let me just it's really stuck inside we'll take it slowly and then i will show you something that you never seen before this is the right side this is the right side so we'll take this one and first what we have here this is some manual from moza for the steering wheel like in every packaging you have the manual english and chinese we have all the information here and here what we have here whoa these some stickers yes these are the stickers and these stickers is for personalization of the steering wheel if you don't like the existing buttons on it so you can change them these are the original you can change them with with these stickers and make it more personal you have yellow gray red and blue you have four choices this is super cool i'll put this aside and let's take out this beauty and see what we have here so be prepared boys wow this thing looks so cool really nice let me put this on the side because we don't need it now and voila this is the world's first trucking wheel for truck simulation looks really really nice it has moza branding on the center it's a classic four spoke design it combines with a modern and in the same time with the classic appearance with chrome accents on the parts of the wheel it's 400 millimeters diameter which is found in real truck steering wheels it's really nice size i love it it's covered with microfiber fiber microfiber leather and has hand stitching on the inside i don't know if you can see that here it's really nice and well done in the same time <clears throat> we have on the on the sides when where you hold it this is a perforated perforated micro fiber leather which gives you a really nice grip and in the same time it's soft on the hands and feels really nice the the internal frame of the steering wheel is constructed from a four millimeter thick aerospace grade aluminum alloy which gives a lot of sturdiness and stability and good luck with someone 
bending this thing. Next we have the buttons and these are short travel RGB backlit buttons. You can listen how they click. It's very good. I love it. And this steering wheel is equipped with 14 of these buttons. These are backlit like I said and you have like 16.7 million colors RGB palette so you can make them in any color you want all the icons are made from real life track scenarios and our person and personalization can be further enhanced with the included stickers here so if you don't like this these uh, buttons you just can take the all the stickers from here and you can they are also made in the same shape of the button so it will be very nice when you add them but it will look nicer if you make them with the light behind it with the backlit you can change every color every button you can change with the different color so it will looks very fine and i will show you that in the in the later in the video so we will go to my cockpit and we will turn this on and we will try it and we will see how this how this thing works next we have the rpm led light and these features with 10 very bright led lights and each of those led lights are also capable of 16.7 million colors palette which can be set in the moza pit house i will show you that later in the video so you can see how everything is set and how you can make them light in which colors and in a lot of colors yes so on the back we have the famous moza quick release this is a standard thing for all the steering wheels from moza racing so it's nothing new you just you can take out or put the wheel on the base in seconds like i mentioned in the other videos so and now the interesting thing about this steering wheel is it will be compatible with all third party bases so this embracing an open ecosystem and that is done by Moza Racing and this thing can be directly connected to a PC via Moza Universal adapter so you can find it on the Moza website and it that adapter will make it compatible with third part bases outside the Moza ecosystem and you can enjoy it doesn't matter if you have Moza wheelbase or not you can enjoy in this steering wheel because it's compatible with all other bases on the market you just need to to get the universal adapter from Moza Racing and everything it's possible and the communication of the steering wheel it's dual so this steering wheel communication supports both wireless and conductive slip ring modes meaning full compatibility with all Moza bases like I mentioned before like I said so you just need to buy the the universal adapter which I will uh, add 
link in the description of this video. The other things I don't want to forget are the two aluminium thumb wheels and the two ultra thin joysticks here. So here are the thumb wheels, they are very crisp. I don't know if you can hear them, but they are really satisfying when you when you turn them. I love it. They can be used for a lot of functions. And also we have here the joysticks, which are super cool and can be used like D-pads in the same time. Here the this on the surface of the of the thumb wheels is textured, so you have a very good grip when you move them, and they are really excellent. I love them, how they sound and how they are reachable when you drive so you can use them for, for example, I don't know, for a lot of things. You can change the dashboard on the truck here, you can do a lot of stuff with them, so it's really a personalized, personalized experience, so you do whatever you want with them, they are fully programmable in the Moza Pit House and they are really, really nice. So, and here, the joysticks, like I said, you can use them like D-pads and with the flat surface, Moza Ray designed this because uh, this will help to prevent accidental, accidental touching during using because I also really had some sometimes i have a problem with the those these are very flat but on the other steering wheels are little high uh bigger how to say so when you when you drive when you turn the wheel you accidentally hit them and they will change something in your gameplay if you have something mapped on those so this will be perfect and they are also i don't know if you can see probably you can see they are turning so if you accidentally touch it it will not gonna go somewhere you just slip here and if you want to move it you just take here with the thumb and you can go up down left right perfect perfect really nice design really good features for this steering wheel and like Moza said it's tested with over million clicks so it will be really really quality and you can use it for a long time I think I said everything about the steering wheel now we will go to my cockpit and we will install this on the my on the my R21 base and we will see how the the buttons are backlit how you can change the colors and how you can set them in the Moza pit house and I don't want to forget Moza also sent me the special truck mount bracket so with this bracket you can make a position of the steering wheel like real truck so i will show you that now i this thing came i will put the steering wheel here on the side and here is the truck mount bracket this thing came dismantled but i install all the parts so it coming in this small box it weighs 2.5 kilograms like it's written on the box so it came in different parts in this small box and then you need to install all the parts i did that before starting this video and this thing is super cool it's made from fully 
it's metal there's no plastic in it only you have this like rubbery squishy spongy pads here so they can protect the the table when you install it and the interesting thing about this uh, this mount so here you mount the the base on the opposite side so upside down and I will show you this here on the picture like you can see here you have how you will mount your base so it's upside down you will mount the base from the bottom and then can go so it's like this you you mount the base here and this thing goes like you can see up and down so if you set it like this here when you add the the base the steering wheel will be here and will it will be something like this i don't know if you can see it yeah so you can change them i will demonstrate you a little here on, on the side of my i put this here because we don't need them now so this is a thing here this part you can mount this and you go like this so here is the base on this side so you can move this and the base will come somewhere here you can change also the position of the of the bracket i when i see it i i came up with some another different position so we will see right now i have very perfect position on my sim rig so i don't know if i use this i will see maybe i will use it maybe i will not gonna use it. i don't know how it will be for me like the position because now i have perfect position for for driving so we'll see or probably i will install it to see how it works but i don't know if i will use it in the future it depends of how it suits me so here you can see the best how this needs to be mounted okay that was it so let's go to the to my cockpit and start this beautiful thing and see how is how is working see you there before we jump on the cockpit i want to give you something exclusive from moza racing this is some new product that will came up in somewhere in the middle of the year my maybe and that will be the multifunctional windshield wiper stalk it will be fire and this thing will be designed for all moza bases with a special focus on optimizing the experience for the truck wheel like i said it's planned to be launched somewhere in may 2024 it will have a very comprehensive control over turn signals lightning windshield wipers cruise control and more it will replicate real car multifunctional stalks and it will boost with 26 separate signals and functions so it will be really 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 realistic experience how you cannot love moza so this is an exclusive information so stay tuned 
it will be something really really interesting and something that we all wish for and the experience will be 100% realistic and we will enjoy that so now finally let's go and see this steering wheel how will perform in the trucking games let's go well finally boys we are in the moza pit house and now we will turn on or we will connect the steering wheel this beauty with the with the base and we will see what settings can be adjusted in the moza pit house like you can see like every steering wheel when you turn it on lights everything this one from the factory it's with blue color every 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 button so but now we will change that and we'll see what settings we have here now it's recognized it in the in the moza pit house with the new update we have a lot of new stuff so we will see now and now let's go to the dedicated steering wheel settings for the truck steering wheel and first we can adjust is the button numbers or show not adjust because this will help you to set the uh, the buttons in the game so you can see which number is which button so you can remember and set it in the game or know which button is for what so that's the thing with the button numbers but i will turn them them off because we want to see the actual buttons now and we go first we have here three sections we will go with the first one it's steering wheel settings we have the rpm leds and then telemetry leds we will go one by one first we have steering wheel settings and here like till now you have the same settings it's the stick mode and we have d-pad and button mode so this is for the joystick here so we can set it like to act like button or to act like d-pad so that's directional pad so you can go up down left right i will set it on d-pad because i use it like a d-pad next we have button brightness so we have the button brightness settings so if you go on zero like you can see the buttons are turning off if you want to light them you just pull this to the middle or i don't know you have from zero until 15 so you can set it however you want that's the brightness i will go with maximum brightness because i love i love when the when the buttons are light very light very bright next we have the rpm led brightness here it's the same just for the rpm leds you have brightness if you go to zero it will turn them off if you go to max 15 it will light very bright i love it that's the first thing you can adjust on the steering wheel next is reset button reset button not reset sorry reset button so here you can reset everything if you click it everything will be go going to the factory settings so we will turn them like we want let's go to the depot here and the most interesting thing of all it's the choosing of colors for every button until now you should go to the mode on the steering wheel by pressing the joystick inwards and then 
it will go on the setting mode for the color of the brightness and then you press the every button so then you change the colors until now was set it on the old steering wheels like that but now we have something new with this update of the Moza pit house we can do everything from our computer and it's very easy everything is uh, adjustable from the Moza pit house I will show you now so now when you go on the button now you have a palette it shows you a palette and from this palette you can choose a color and you can choose now up to 16.7 million colors because this palette it supports that much so if you want here you have colors that are already set but if you want to choose yourself a color you just go on this palette here and you enter here and you can set whatever color you like you have 16.7 million boys so I, I don't think so that you will miss some color let's start and let me show you how this is done so for example here we have the first buttons we'll go with the with the green color you see now it's changed to green let's go and fix the this is the blinkers let's go fix the blinkers in green color let's fix the other one you see it changed the color here we have the long lights and they are with blue color so we'll leave them with blue and on the other side we have the this one are the normal lights the short lights and those will set it on green also uh, we have wipe wipers here here on the steering wheel so also we can set the color for that let's go with purple here we have the tempo mat for the for the speed we can set it on green also like it is in the game we have a horn also here we can set it on yellow and from this side we have the volume buttons those are for volume up and down you can set it forever you want let's go and make them we'll make them with this color so you can see what is possible to be done here you can change every button with the color you prefer so that's it for the buttons it's very interesting and very easy you can do every time when you have will to do it next we have the rpm leds and here we also have some settings that are from before but we will go very quick here we have the engine rpm indicator switch modes you know this one when you when it's on rpm indicator when you enter the game it will act normal here you can turn that off and you can turn that on all the time i will leave it on the rpm indicator i love it like that you have engine rpm indicator display mode so you have two modes you can choose which mode is best for you next we have our engine rpm indicator timing so now we have timing here you can set it on early timing so this will start start early to show you you can set it on normal late and customize it in the end if you want we will do that now quickly so we can see and here we have the rpm mode that will be shown here on these settings and that will, can be shown in percent like it is now or you can set it on rpm which is very easy so you know on which rpm which color will light and on this first lever how to say you have the maximum rpms you can set so maximum is 20,000 so but for the trucks for example we need 
max like maybe how much let me this let me put them down because we cannot go down now all the other we'll put them down then we will set them in the end so now we go to nope we will go like this early and then we will set it this one to to the lowest if you know whether something is playing with me here but we will fix it now i will go with this all down so i can show you this so here you can go with the minimum i will go with for example 2900 because it's better like this or if you don't like to play like me you can just write the number of the rpms you like and it will go there so now we will go and set them like this and then you will see when I play the game how they light here on the steering wheel let me just do them like this yep we are done so they are in good order also you can change the colors on the RPM lights here we have also the palette when you go when you point on the color you see the palette it shows so for demonstration purpose I will show you these are for example we will change them to yellow now it will go green yellow and purple here on the end we have the blinking light so when you go max RPM it will start blink and it will blink in, in red color for now you can change if you want and for this settings of the RPM LEDs that's it for now I think I, I we've gone through everything now let's go to the telemetry LEDs these are mostly for racing because we have the pit lane pit limiter anti-lock brake system we have the red flag the yellow flag so these are the things for racing but can be set here also if you race you can turn them on the first one is uh, the wheel spin so when the wheels are spinning this will flash white so we will leave it like this for the trucks because sometimes can be can we can have wind uh, well spin on the track so i will push that on these other are for racing so i will not gonna turn them on now and that's it for the moza pit house everything is very easy and very interesting to to set i i enjoy now this is for demonstrational purpose but i will do it slowly by myself when I set everything good and the other thing I want to mention that you can also save these settings so here down you can click save these settings and you can save them like JSON file and you will have it if you want to change them for something else for the another for another steering wheel you can save for this steering wheel and then you can add the other one for the other steering wheel so it's very convenient it's very strong i was playing before and i uh, i will show you how you can import them so i saved the these settings now i will reset everything to zero how it was from the fabric from the factory settings and now we will go to import settings and like you can see here truck wheel lights open and now all the lights are set like i said them before and also here on the rpm leds and telemetry leds everything is saved like i did that before and now let's go to see 
how this will act in a game so we'll turn on Euro Truck Simulator 2 and we will see how this beautiful steering wheel for specialized for truck driving will act in a game so let's go there and see that well I give myself a little time so I've set all the buttons in the game I map them like for my needs so I can demonstrate you better how they work and how they feel so now I'll start the truck and we'll see what we have here to be honest this steering wheel it feels very very nice on the hand and it's big so you're really feeling like you are in a real truck so let's go first and see how these buttons acting and how good they are while driving so we have here the blinker left blinker it's very interesting it's really new because the steering wheel is so big but it really gives you like real feel of a truck so let's let put the lights on so we have here this is for the normal lights like you can see let's turn them on you have here for the high beam then we are ready to go so let's push the button for the blinker really really nice I love it here on the on the thumb wheels I, I set the settings for the for this for the GPS you can change the zoom of the GPS and you can for example for this truck you can change the camera you can turn that off also very 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 interesting here on this on this thumbwell I fixed the dashboard modes so you can change them from here really really nice here we have the cruise control also but I will show you that later when we drive because if you stand the cruise control is not working you can turn the vipers because there is dedicated button here you see the RPM LEDs are showing now very very cool amazing amazing it's really amazing what we have here we have the horn yep here on this side I set the the retarder so for slowing the truck and the engine brake I I have set it I don't know you can see on the camera but it's set on my uh, sequential shifter from Moza Racing the SGP on the buttons that are on the RG or of the on the SGP I set the increase and decrease of the engine brake so now I have fully fully realistic truck driving experience this is really amazing oops I hit the wall but that doesn't matter now we are here for the steering wheel this looks amazing we have all the functions here and it will be more interesting with the exclusive uh, product I showed you today about the new wiper 
stalk, windchill stalk that will came up somewhere in May. It will be even better when you have all the the controls like in real real truck so it will have very good experience with that I think we cover everything I don't want to forget here are the joysticks work very fine very good this is bullseye Moza you did a bullseye you're making history and thank you very much for for give us this amazing product so we can enjoy in in the games like we are on the real road this is really really realistic believe me boys if you want to to have it you will have links in the description of this video so you will go on the moza website and you can buy it from there you will not gonna regret it believe me this is the real deal and it's the world first truck steering wheel for truck simulator how you cannot love moza i said that before how you cannot love moza i think it's enough for today for this video you will see this steering wheel a lot in the upcoming videos we will do a lot of good and realistic videos so you people can enjoy in your free time and relax with my videos. I hope you have a good day. I wish you all the best to everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video so can reach more people so everybody can be notified about these amazing products we get from Moza. Bye bye and all the best for now. See you or be says bye bye.